What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're just gonna look at Stuck With You by Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber. Uh, for this song we got the keeper on the first fret. And we don't need to worry about the structure much because we just got the intro, or we, got, we got the verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So pretty easy structure and same thing is actually going throughout the whole song. I just want to show you two parts of the chords, which will be one is a strumming one, which is a easier and tries to follow the uh, pattern which actually goes in the song another is the instrumental which goes in the song uh, which is gonna show you right now which is with taps so um, keep on the first fret you can actually play the open chords but obviously if you play the uh, it's on electric guitar they're playing the bar chords so it will sound way better but let's have a look at the chords first first chord is a G major which is 3 2 0 0 3 3 now I told you guys, uh, for this one, if you are avoiding the bar chords, then you have to keep your third frets on the E and B string for all the chords except the D. So E minor also you are doing 0, 2, 2, 0, 3, 3 which becomes a E minor 7 if I'm not wrong. Uh, then we have a C major which is mu 3, 2, 0, 3, 3 which actually becomes C at 9. And then we have the normal D major chord which is mu, mu 0, 2, 3, 2. Uh, now, uh, if you, I'm just gonna cover up the bar chords also, G major bar chord, which is uh, now everything which I'm telling is related to no cap, uh, cap of first fret. 3, 5, 5, 4, 3, 3. Then we have E minor over here, which is mute 7, 9, 9, 8, 7. Then you have C major, which is mute 3, 5, 5, 5, mute. Then again over here, slide on two frets, the D, mute 5, 7, 7, 7, mute. So you know the chords, now let's have a look at the chord progressions right by now. The chord progression of the song guys, so the chord progression will be a G major which goes for 2 bar then we come to an E minor 7 again 2 times, then C at 9 2 times and then we come to an E minor once and D major once so it's like That's pretty simple guys, so it's a very easy song to play on guitar. Uh, now have a look at the tab guys, just want to show you this part first. You know the chord progression? Uh, what I'm doing is I'm playing the G major chord, I'm playing the top string, then the D string, then the G string, then I'm strumming, and then I'm just keeping my hand on the string to get the entire sound of the chord muted. Now, for this one, you can actually uh, use your left hand if possible, but you can actually completely mute if you play the bar chords, like... But if you try to mute over here, it's uh, some nose will ring. You see? So that's why bar chords are way better. On G major, you play... Once more. Then we come to an E minor, we pick the E string, then the D string, then the G string, and again strum and do the same thing. Once more, same thing we go for the C at 9, we play the A string, then the D string, then the G string and strum, so we got, and then we come to the E minor chord I told you, so we are just doing it once since we are playing it once, I told you before the chord progression and all, and the D major, and then we come to the D major and doing it once, so D string, D string, D string, D string, bam! I just see your mating. So that's basically a very easy thing. And let me know in the comment below if you have any doubt regarding this. Um, now, we are actually done with the main thing of the song. If you find it easy, you can just leave. Uh, now, you can actually try to interpret this one on the bar cost, same string. Same strumming, exactly everything what I'm doing, but it'll sound way better. Just let me play once. So that's for the bar chords. Uh, now we're just gonna show you the strumming pattern, which is actually based around this uh, finger pink. So we're actually going one, two, three, four, one, two. It's like one two three four one two one two one two three four one two. See, I'm actually trying to mimic the uh, pattern which you just learned. 
So, have a look at the right hand. Strong pattern is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2. What you're doing is we're doing 1. So, the 1, 2, 3 are very soft. And on the 4, I got the accent, so I'm just emphasizing on that beat. So, So, actually, go. Now the only change is for the E minor chord, uh, e, the last G major chord. We play the G major over here. One, two, three, four, one, two. Then we come to the E minor. Four, one, two. So C add nine. Four, one, two. But for the E minor and the D major at the end, we play E minor. Uh, we play one, two, three, and the four, one, two. The four got the accent, so we're just strumming louder on the D major and one, two. So it's like. Nice and easy. Now let's have a place for a couple of times for the strong pan. Oh, sorry. Oh, I just got messed up. Sorry. So G major, E minor, C add nine, D major. One, two, three, four. That's pretty much everything for this song. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, let me know in the comments below any song that you want to learn and just subscribe, guys, because I'm just going to do a face reveal, a guitar, new guitar reveal, and a better camera quality just with one kiss ups. So that's it for this video, guys. Uh, don't forget to drop me one of these and see you guys back in the next video. Till then, bye.